Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at inequalities on a number line. So we will talk about inequalities on a number line and more inequalities on a number line. Yay! All right, then we'll be doing some practice, practice, and practice as usual. First off, let's talk about the inequality signs. The signs that we usually use for inequalities are these two signs. The greater than sign opens to the left, the less than sign opens to the right. The open part, or if you were to consider it like a Pac-Man mouth, the open mouth goes to the larger of the two numbers. All right, so that's the basics of inequalities. When we're working with inequalities and variables, they're a little bit more complicated. So that's when we use a number line. Here's an example. I want you to tell me what are the numbers that are greater than three. So I have the greater than symbol. I'm looking for everything that's greater than three. So you might say, well, four is greater than three, and five is greater than three, maybe nine is greater than three, 11 is greater than three, All right? But we also have to consider that 3.1 is greater than three, three and a half, three and three quarters. So basically every incremental step, everything that's bigger than three would be highlighted in this and it's impossible to list all of them. So the way we show it using a graph, instead of putting these points on here, we would just draw an arrow. So you can see this, we would have the open circle on three, and then we would have the arrow going to everything that is greater than three. So everything to the right of three. That's how this works when we're, when we're using number lines to show inequalities. Let's do an example. If I ask you to show me x is greater than five, that means everything greater than five, all the possible numbers that are greater than five. So I would start by marking the point five, and then I would draw an arrow showing everything greater than five. That's it. That's how we show inequalities on a number line. Let's do another one. Show me x is less than four. So for this one, I'm going to mark the point four, and then I'm going to mark everything less than four. So everything to the left of four. And that's how I would show x is less than four. I select the number four and then I do everything less than that. So let's do a little bit of practice. Um, you might not have line, um, a lo number line sitting around, but try and imagine, or you can draw a, a quick number line and show this. x is greater than negative two. Did you start with the point negative two? and then select everything greater than negative two? Is that what that would look like? All right, let's try another one. Um, in this one, I'm actually giving you the graph and asking you to write an inequality. What would the inequality for this graph look like? How would you write that? Okay, if you pause the recording and came back to this, maybe you said, well, I see that negative eight, so that's gonna be a part of it. The arrow goes to the left, so it's everything less than negative eight. So therefore, I would write this, x is less than negative eight. That is the correct graph and inequality. All right, one more. I want you to write the inequality for this graph. Write the inequality for this graph here. Pause the recording, try and figure this one out. All right, hopefully you're back and you wrote x is less than zero. That's what this graph means. It shows selecting zero and then saying everything that is on the left of zero, or in other words, everything that is less than zero is a solution for this inequality. X is less than zero. And if you want to, you can plug in numbers, right? We, just like we did at the beginning, you could plug in negative three. Is negative three less than zero? Yes, then it should be part of the solution. It's something that we highlighted with this graph. Negative one, negative two, negative 10, negative eight and a half, right? All the points that are less than zero are included as a solution for this inequality. Now we're gonna change gears a little bit um, and add in a couple more inequality signs. The greater than an, or equal to sign and the less than or equal to sign. 
number lines are basically going to work the same. There's going to be one change, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. I want you to watch this and try and figure out what is the difference in these graphs. Let's take a look. This is a number line. I am going to show you x is greater than or equal to negative 1. To do that, I'm going to start by putting a dot on the point negative 1, and then I'm going to highlight everything that is greater than negative 1. So while you're looking at this, did you notice a difference? Is there something that's different with the greater than or equal to symbol as opposed to the greater than symbol? I'll show you one more with this number line. Show me x is less than or equal to 3. So I'm going to start by selecting the point 3, and then I'm going to select everything less than 3. Have you noticed the difference yet? It's pretty subtle, but it's definitely there. When you are graphing a greater than or equal to, you use a filled in circle. Did you notice that with this? Look, the, the point 3 has a filled in circle, right? Or closed circle. When you're doing the equal to, less, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, they're going to be a filled in circle because it includes that number as well. When we did just the less than, or in this case the greater than, or the less than, you can see over there we used open circles. All right, And those open circles tell us it's not equal to that place. It was everything bigger than or less than, but not equal to that exact spot. So we use the open circle. Okay, and You can go back and look and see when we were doing less than or greater than, we used open circles, and when we're doing um, less than, equal to, greater than, equal to, we always use the closed circles or the filled in circles. All right. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of practice. Um, I want you to go ahead and show me what would this look like. X is greater than or equal to 7. Pause the recording, try and do that one. If you have a number line, you can do it on a number line. If not, you can imagine what it would look like on the screen. Don't draw it on the screen using a Sharpie, though. Your mom will be really upset. All right, so you're going to have a closed dot. We have a closed dot because it's greater than or equal to. In other words, the point 7 is part of the solution. And then we're going to highlight everything that's greater than 7. All right, another one. I want you to write the inequality for this one. Look at the graph. Notice whether it is an open circle or a closed circle. And then write the inequality for this graph. Is that what you said? X is less than or equal to 6. It starts at 6 and highlights everything less than 6, but it's a closed or filled in circle, so therefore it includes 6 as well. X is less than or equal to positive 6. All right, go ahead and write the inequality for this one. What does the inequality look like? Is that what you wrote? X is greater than or equal to negative 4. Greater than or equal to. Again, the greater than or equal to is because it's a filled in circle at the point negative 4. And we are highlighting everything greater than 4 with the arrow going to the right. So this is an inequality of X is greater than or equal to negative 4. This is a little bit challenging, but it's also very visual, which is kind of nice for math. When you get into higher level math, less and less is visual, more and more is kind of abstract. But the key is to practice, practice, practice until you get this. I hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.